you know? If Sir Isaac Newton beside he is a mathematician and physicist, the astronomer was also a theologian, he wrote many works that would now be classified as occult studies, and he wrote religious tracts that dealt with the literal interpretation of the Bible. He kept his heretical beliefs private. Newton saw a monotheistic God as the masterful creator whose existence could not be denied in the face of the grandeur of all creation. Although born into an Anglican family, and a devout but heterodox Christian, by his thirties Newton held a Christian faith that, had it been made public, would not have been considered orthodox by mainstream Christians. Scholars now consider him a non-Trinitarian Arian. So he is not a Trinitarian but more look like an Arianism I thought, as well as rejecting the Trinity, Newton's studies led him to reject belief in the immortal soul, a personal devil, literal demons, spirits of the dead, and infant baptism. Although he was not a Socinian, he shared many similar beliefs with them. Wait a minute. Who are Socinians? Oh okay let me explain who are Socinians. Socinianism is a non-Trinitarian Christian belief system developed and co-founded during the Protestant Reformation by the Italian Renaissance humanists and theologians Lelio Sazzini, Latin, Lilius Sassinus, and Fausto Sazzini, Latin, Faustus Socinus, uncle and nephew, respectively. The beliefs of Socinianism date from the wing of the Protestant Reformation known as the Radical Reformation and have their root in the Italian Anabaptist movement of the 1540s, such as the Anti-Trinitarian Council of Venice in 1550. Lelio Sazzini was the first of the Italian Anti-Trinitarian to go beyond Arian beliefs in print and deny the pre-existence of Christ in his Brevis Explicatio and Premium Johannes Caput, a commentary on the meaning of the Logos in John 1:1-15, 1, 1 1562. Lelio Sazzini considered that the beginning of John 1:1 1, 1 was the same as 1 John 1:1 1, 1 and referred to the new creation, not the Genesis creation. His nephew Fausto Sazzini published his own longer Brevis Explicatio later, developing his uncle's arguments. Many years after the death of his uncle in Switzerland, Fausto Sazzini consulted with the Unitarian Church in Transylvania, attempting to mediate the dispute between Giorgio Biandreta and Ferenc David. Continue about Sir Isaac Newton and his view on Christianity, a manuscript he sent to John Locke in which he disputed the existence of the Trinity was never published. In 2019, John Rogers stated, Heretics both, John Milton and Isaac Newton were, as most scholars now agree, Arians. Newton refused the sacrament of the Anglican Church offered before his death. After his death, deists sometimes claimed him as one of their own, as have Trinitarians. He was a fundamentalist Christian who opposed both orthodox teachings and religious skepticism. Newton saw God as the masterful creator whose existence could not be denied in the face of the grandeur of all creation. Nevertheless, he rejected Leibniz's thesis that God would necessarily make a perfect world which requires no intervention from the creator. In Query 31 of the Optics, Newton simultaneously made an argument from design and for the necessity of intervention. For while comets move in very eccentric orbs in all manner of positions, blind fate could never make all the planets move the same way in orbs concentric, some inconsiderable irregularities accepted which may have arisen from the mutual actions of comets and planets on one another, and which will be apt to increase, till this system wants a reformation. Newton spent a great deal of time trying to discover hidden messages within the Bible. After 1690, Newton wrote several religious tracts dealing with the literal interpretation of the Bible. In a manuscript Newton wrote in 1704, he describes his attempts to extract scientific information from the Bible. He estimated that the world would end no earlier than 2060. In predicting this, he said, this I mention not to assert when the time of the end shall be, but to put a stop to the rash conjectures of fanciful men who are frequently predicting the time of the end, and by doing so bring the sacred prophesies into discredit as often as their predictions fail. Now we live in the year 2023, so maybe we just have 37 years before the end of the world, right? Don't worry about that, because many famous people fail to predict the end of the world, such as David Koresh, William Miller, the Prophet Hen from Leeds, Halley Comet, Harold Camping, 
Maya Tribe Predictions, Joanna Southcott, etc. The Library of Trinity College, Cambridge, holds in its collections Newton's copy of the King James Version, which exhibits numerous marginal notes in his hand as well as about 500 readers' marks pointing to passages of particular interest to him. A note is attached to the Bible, indicating that it was given by Sir Isaac Newton in his last illness to the woman who nursed him. The book was eventually bequeathed to the library in 1878. The places Newton marked or annotated in his Bible bear witness to his investigations into theology, chronology, alchemy, and natural philosophy, and some of these relate to passages of the general scolium to the second edition of the Principia. Some other passages he marked offer glimpses of his devotional practices and reveal distinct tensions in his personality. Newton's Bible appears to have been first and foremost a customized reference tool in the hands of a biblical scholar and critic. Newton's work of New Testament textual criticism, an historical account of two notable corruptions of scripture, was sent in a letter to John Locke on November 14, 1690. In it, he reviews evidence that the earliest Christians did not believe in the Trinity. It's may be true but mainstream Christianity believe in Trinity, and we never found the word Trinity in the Bible, that's why we also need interpretation from church fathers and we should believe the Holy Spirit also guides them. Okay thank you for watching and see you.